And I want to show you one other demonstration that involves light. And for this, I need a volunteer. Who will help? OK, let's see. How about you? Come down here. Turn around. What's your name? Thad? Thad? Ben. 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 OK, Ben. Uh, ben, have you ever been to a magic show? Yeah. You like magic? Yeah. Would you like to be a magician? Yeah. That would be a neat thing to be, wouldn't it? Did you know that there's a lot of physics in m magic? No. To be a good magician, you have to know a lot about physics. A lot of people don't know that. Most magic tricks are nothing more than principles of physics. Did you know that? No. Do now, don't you? <laughs> OK, Ben. Uh, we would like you to help us with a, a magic demonstration. So what I'd like you to do is turn to your right and walk over to my assistant, Mr. Lovell. And what we always do, of course, in magic is to raise the curtain so you can't see what's going on behind. All right? So uh, we're getting Ben adjusted back there. And uh, when we're ready, are we ready for the final adjustment? Now, of course, when magicians do this, they never tell you how they do it, right? But you're not at a magic show today. You're at a science show, so I'm going to tell you exactly how we do it, because it uses an easy principle of physics, the reflection of light off of a mirror. What you're seeing here is a mirror. And Ben is behind the mirror, and what looks like the left rear leg of the table is actually the right front leg of the table reflected in the mirror. So uh, Ben, maybe we'd better get you out of there while you're ahead. <laughs> Now, I show you this first because it's sort of cute, and uh, it does uh, indicate that uh, there's a lot of physics and magic. But also, um, it points out something that we might be able to do in the next millennium. We might indeed be able to take someone's head like that, take it off their body, and transplant it to someone else's body. If something were wrong with your head, wouldn't you want to have a head transplant? Sort of beats the alternative, I guess. Uh, but you know, if someone else's head were transplanted onto your body, would you still be the same person? Maybe not. So it's a little bit complicated. But um, the time may come when we're able to do that in the next millennium. And in fact, the time may come when you wouldn't even want to do that. You wouldn't want somebody else's head. You'd want one of these spiffy new heads that are made out of uh, computers. And so it may be that uh, we don't really like these heads that we're uh, born with, that we would all like uh, better heads. And there may come a time when uh, one can uh, put an artificial head on our body and maybe even transfer to it all the information that's in your brain. Uh, so a 1,000 years is a long time, and lots of interesting things could happen over that time. And we can only dream about some of the possibilities.